folks all over the world. Today I want to discuss and I will analyze the TikTok channel of Único Sobreviviente. Oh, thank you Conchita. For the correct pronunciation. This user says he woke up in a hospital in Valencia apparently trapped to a parallel universe of 2021, but all electronic objects seems apparently bear the date 2027. Wait. Hey. This matter does not convince me. And what do you think about it? So, let's start analyzing his videos. When I face a case, the first thing to check is the famous saying of Agatha Christie, the famous best-selling mystery writer in the world that says, one proof is one proof, two proofs are coincidence, but three proofs are in evidence. So, let's start with the first proof. All past, present a future videos are uploaded in 2021. If the user, Javier, was technologically speaking in 2027 as he admits, we wouldn't be able to see his videos, they have yet to be posted. To give a little example, if it had been in 2017, in the past, we would already see them all these videos already present, right? So, from a technological standpoint, he is here, in our time, 2021. That's a fact, okay? Okay, Google. ¿Qué fecha es hoy? Es domingo, 21 de marzo de 2027. Oh, this is not proof that you are in 2027, Javier. Google or Alexa vocal assistants can be commanded to answer what you want to specific questions. For example, for Google you can find many helps online, like this one, also to YouTube. For Alexa is the same thing, like this video tutorial. And Q&A. And then click this button, it says make your own. Now here is the fun part. We get to tell our smart speaker what we want her to say in response to our questions. To start, we have a set of question and answer fields, pre-filled with sample questions and answers. Just replace the sample content with our own. Our first question will be, where can I find tech tutorials on YouTube? And I want her response to be, I, I suggest you check out Chris Fry Tech Guy. His channel features tutorials and reviews to help make technology work for you. Or when in another video he tries to demonstrate the year 2027 simply from a computer, when it is very easy to change the time of a PC, a clumsy attempt that was criticized by everyone in the comments. In fact this video has been deleted from his channel. In other videos, he tries to demonstrate he live in the future 2027 by placing specific objects around Valencia, and giving the GPS coordinates to locate them. Some of these objects have been found by some users, and he has produced videos to prove they find it. Even this attempt don't proves nothing, all his videos are shot in moments where there are no people or traffic. He may have produced these videos during a coronavirus pandemic, when we are at home, especially in Spain, where there were many restrictions by the government regarding the containment of infections. In some comments, some users underline how clean the streets are. This is easily explained, Valencia is a very clean city, known for its architectural modernity, and before the pandemic for COVID-19, tourism was very frequent in this place. The second proof that I would like to analyze, is the fact that many of the videos of Unico Sobreviviente, also known as, Javier, are edited. Manipulated. Let's take a look at this video. Did you see it? The church door handle is on the left, so pushing it should open left to right, not right to left, as the video shows. Now I would like to show you two videos. In the first, Javier enters a shop, probably taking advantage of a moment of absence of the shop assistant, or with her complicity, and shows us the interior of the shop, where you can glimpse an object, a radio, which then we will see in the next video that I would like to show you.
Okay, in this next video he try to demonstrate how, even on the streets of Madrid, when the radio is turned up, loud at night, or in other words to pumping the volume, no one complains or opens the windows. There is no one who yells at him, or tells him to turn off the radio. Take a look. To respect the copyright on the song, you will hear, a reggaeton song, the title is Ram Pam Pam. This video is re-edited, the music that propagates on the street, does not have this audio tone, that seems to be recorded in a rather narrow room, the music on the street, has audio that propagates and bounces much more widely than this, it seems dry and crisp sound. Now we try to make a game. We try to re-edit the audio track, to try to make it resemble as much as possible a song heard in the street, let's try. What we did, with this audio track, was simply to add a convolution reverber effect, in particular the backstage area, which gives a much more extended and propagated sound, you can try it from home too, the result is much more credible. Here is a demonstration. My personal opinion, on the videos of this channel, is that they are all shot either in the lockdown period for COVID-19, as I have already said, or in moments when there was no one on the street or in the buildings. However, perhaps, some of us are unaware that, there is a new feature in the Adobe After Effect video editing program, that effectively removes people, cars, or objects from your video, very easily. Trust me people, this user is capable of editing videos, because the next video I'm going to show you, is totally shocking. In the next video, a great TikTok user, Damien Mala, challenges Javier, telling him, I know you are here, in Madrid, I'm hiding a book, written by me, inside this complex. Find it and read it. Damien Moya del Hormiguero, y he visto que el único sobreviviente está aquí en Madrid, con todo vacío en 2027. Me encantan tus vídeos, eh, espero que sean verdad, pero quiero comprobarlo. Así que, te reto que vengas aquí, al Hormiguero. Aquí siempre hay gente trabajando a todas horas. Desde por la mañana hasta por la noche tenemos seguridad 24 horas, así que es imposible que nadie pueda entrar. Mi reto es el siguiente. Voy a colocar mi libro, Oh My God, que sale el miércoles 26 de mayo. Y tú vienes y lo coges, ¿vale? Aquí viene. Mira, ¿ves? Un. Ahí está. Javier accepts the challenge and posts this video. The TikToker, Damien Mala, post a new video, saying that the book is gone, and clearly this is not possible, if Javier was really in 2027. So this is another proof that, Unico Sobreviviente, lives with us in 2021. Great shot Damien, my compliments. Vale, hemos venido al hormiguero otra vez para comprobar qué ha pasado. Ya es lunes, entonces, como veis, siempre hay gente aquí en el hormiguero trabajando, es imposible que cuando vengas... No haya nadie, es que vaya donde vaya, siempre hay gente. Hay cámaras de seguridad, por ejemplo, mira, ¿ves? Ahí hay una cámara de seguridad que está grabando. Luego las vamos a chequear para ver qué de hecho se ha pasado con... Esa cámara de seguridad está apuntando justo a la puerta. Vale, lo primero que vamos a hacer es comprobar si el libro está en su sitio. ¿Vale? A ver, ¿este era el sitio? Sí. Y no está. And now, the matter gets complicated. 
Yes, because Damien, with his colleagues, decides to examine the security camera. Here's what he finds. Venga, vamos a analizarlo poco a poco. Quiero que veamos cada frame, ¿vale? Ahí sale algo. Pablo, ¿dónde? Ahí está, ahí está. Páralo, 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 páralo. Vamos a ir justo al frame. Quiero exactamente a ver si se le puede ver la cara a eso que sale ahí. Mira, 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 mira. Ahí está, ahí está. ¿Lo has visto? Míralo. Perfectamente, no me lo puedo creer. Perfectamente una silueta humana. Hay que limpiar un poco, pero yo creo que podemos sacar más, ¿eh? ¿Tú puedes sacar más? Sí. Sí, vale, pero es que luego se ve otro. Vete cuando abre la puerta, porque yo quiero ver eso, no. ese momento. Ahí, 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 ahí. Ahí, 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 se ha visto. ¿Lo has visto? ¿Lo has visto? Un poquito atrás, un poquito atrás. Mira, 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 mira. Sí, sí, sí. sí, sí. sí. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is it possible? Let's start with a rule. It is not possible to go unnoticed in front of a security camera, nor to appear invisible. What is possible, however, is to hack access to the security camera, browse the server folder, where the video is contained, download the video, use a software to remove objects or people from the video, which works frame by frame and reload it on the server. Here's what I believe happened. However, something went wrong. Some frames, Javier was unable to delete them. There are two hypotheses, he was in a hurry and didn't do a clean job, or the editing software he used edited the video with an incorrect frame PER second frequency, leaving some frames unchanged. I admit that the latest videos, which we have seen, were real twists in this investigation, but the third proof, is overwhelming proof, the mother of all proof. Unico Sabreviviente is not alone, or rather, it is not the same person who shoots all the videos, because there are several people involved in this TikTok channel. Personally, I have managed to count three mans involved so far, but I believe there are more, and after, I will go and explain why. In some videos, especially those on painting, you can see a squat hand, like an adult man, maneuvering the various colors. In other videos instead, where there is the entrance to some sensitive structures, such as the military complex, we can see a darker, hairy hand, of a thin young person. In many other videos, a pale white, hairless, young hand can be seen. It usually appears in videos, where Javier leaves objects around Valencia, to be found by users. In some videos, Javier is seen entering locked complexes, using a set of keys. For example, the football stadium, or the military complex, or the police station. Of course users comment, where did you get those keys? Javier you never answered. The reason could be that, during the pandemic, Javier may have had political authorization, for the purposes of advertising the city of Valencia, that this whole story is a publicity stunt, to revive tourism in the city, during COVID-19 hit. Here ends the first part of the analysis of the Tyke Talker, Unico Sabreviviente. Thanks folks for watching. Remember, we live in a logical and mathematically ordered universe. Don't believe everything, ask, analyze, and you will solve.